Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name's Nicole, my pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest, which is the traditional territory of the Coast Salish tribes. I'm an artist and educator currently learning about budgeting, saving, and planning for retirement, um, and sharing what I learn along the way. Um, I'm here for the week four budget check-in um, for June 2019. Um, I have a few transactions. I think I rounded everything out so I could close out the month. So let's get um, into it. Um, so first of all, I realized I hadn't recorded paycheck one. So <clears throat> paycheck one was 2085.51. So that's my full-time job plus my adjunct pay. Um, paycheck two was a um, pleasant surprise. I mean, it wasn't exactly a surprise, but I did uh, participate in a um, program for adjunct instructors that did that came with a stipend. And so that was paid out on this um, month's paycheck. So the paycheck two was um, $2,918 and 26 cents. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. I'm really glad that's gonna bring me out ahead. Um, I know that I went over budget this month um, traveling. I mean, I guess it was traveling um, and having a friend visit um, you know, just um, helped me have a wild month where I, I kind of ignored the budget. Um, so that's good. Um, my goal for those funds, just like for all of my adjunct funds, was for them to go exclusively into savings. But at the end of the day, um, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, that's the problem with uh, extra income or it's not the problem with extra income, it's the problem with not following your budget. So since I started to follow a budget, I have been able to actually enjoy extra income because I've budgeted and so when something extra comes along, I'm like, oh, I can put this into savings or I can put this towards something um, or I can put this in my me, 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 me fund. And um, this month, because I went over budget, um, even though I've worked really hard on this thing all year, and I'm finally getting the stipend for it, I know that I'm gonna lose some of it to budget creep. So that is, um, you know, the beauty of a budget is that you really get to appreciate that money and that's the kind of bummer when you go over, but I guess it's good to get a reminder every once in a while um, to help you stay, you know, motivate you to stay, motivate me to stay on track. Okay, so let's see, I've got rent. Um, that was 550. Um, let's see, I paid for my student loans. That was 268. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go down to travel. I bought a couple of things on Amazon for traveling. Um, I bought a phone, a thing so that my phone will connect to the radio in my car. You see this pretty cat? Um, and uh, I bought, a little thing to hold my phone up. Usually I just like kind of set it um, against the like dashboard and it's kind of a mess. And so um, I bought that and that total came to 3043. <clears throat> and there. I also um, bought a gift with my fam with my siblings for my parents and my portion was um, $60. So that's gonna go into gifts. Um, and last but not least, I've got a small, uh, actually this is going to be a split. So I've got a charge of 1535 to, uh, the grocery store. Um, it was mostly for fruit, but, um, I also bought ibuprofen. So I'll have that come out of the, my medical sinking fund. Um, I've been having some back trouble. And so I needed to, to get a new bottle of ibuprofen to help with that. Um, okay, so let's see, we'll go into health fund and that will be $7. And then uh, there we go. And then this will be um, sorry, groceries. So that's seven, and this will be what's left. <laughs> seven. There we go. Eight thirty-five. 
and I'm going to track that. And the very last transaction of the month was um, simply for auto insurance 9842. All right, great. Well, those are all my transactions for June. I'll be back with a um, June reconciliation and a July um, budget plan. <laughs> and um, that's funny. And uh, yeah, I will see you soon. My question for you to leave down in the comments below is what are your plans for this summer? All right, thank you.